What is going on, Lowdown fans? I'm Jack Stern, and it's time for my quick rundown on some of the latest music. Let's get straight into it. In hip-hop news, some of my favorite projects of the year so far have been dropping. One in particular is the latest from experimental luminary Open Mike Eagle. On his latest album, Brick Body Kids Still Daydream, Mike is confident enough in his words that his raps don't have to blow up straight in your face. The production here is also some of the strongest in Mike's career, with an interesting mix of lo-fi and electro-infused beats. The song topics range from Mike lamenting the demolishing of the project housing he grew up in, to the song Happy Wasteland Day, where he begs for one day in his life free from the threat of violence and destruction against his race. Fans of Art Rap will not want to miss this project, as it is some of the best work Open Mike Eagle has brought us. The next hip-hop artist I want to talk about is a much less experienced one. In fact, she's more of a meme than a musician. That's right, Danielle Bergoli, the Catch Me Outside girl who became an internet sensation after a trashy appearance on Dr. Phil. Now, Danielle's on to bigger things with a rap career as Bad Baby. That's right, she's actually signed to Atlantic Records. This brings the term meme rapper to a whole other level. Also, I think it begs the question. Has the bar for trap rap become so low that a 14 year old can make it? I mean, think about it, this song really isn't that much different from your average Playboy Cardi or Kodak Black track. I mean, it's even kind of catchy. If a 14 year old wasn't singing it, you probably would be singing along to it. Danielle's ability as a rapper is pretty much the same, and she has the same force of ghostwriters and videographers behind her, no doubt. I think going forward in hip hop, acts like Bad Baby really raise the question of whether or not the bar needs to be raised for trap music. Next up on my list of recommendations is Liz from indie oddball Ariel Pink. This artist is famous for his story career creating hypnagogic and lo-fi pop music. This latest album from him, dedicated to Bobby Jameson, really lays on that gruff and fuzzy lo-fi aesthetic. Ariel also brings in some of his aptitude for creating comedic and off-gilder riffs in his music. The song Dream Date Narcissist is a goofy look into Ariel's idea of the perfect date. Then you've got more serious songs like Another Weekend which is this brutally somber look into the regret of time lost that sounds like it should be played in some kind of seedy dive bar. The best cut to me is the psychedelic and mystical Feels Like Heaven. Here Ariel creates a dreamy and kaleidoscopic groove that bleeds into the great dream pop inspired hook where Ariel just belts out about how he's just found a new true love. Once again, this is another great release from one of the weirder artists in pop music today. Lastly, I want to give a shout out to another whacked out pop artist. This time it's a more up and coming act straight out of Australia. At first glance, Alex Cameron looks like the world's creepiest Bruce Springsteen impersonator. After a closer examination though, you'll soon figure out that he has some of the best sense of melody and hooks. With the song Running Out of Luck, he has this great saxophone groove and all these great lyrics about he's got blood on his knuckles and a woman beside him in the passenger seat that just really gives you that great like 80s pop rock vibe. Then you've got songs like True Lies, where Alex Cameron essentially is talking about how he's sending money to a girl just to get pictures of her beautiful eyes and how it might be a Nigerian guy, but he doesn't care because he's all just into this whole fantasy of talking to this girl on the internet. I mean, who even talks about that in a song, much less one with more of a Bruce Springsteen and soaring pop rock vibe where you just feel like you want to put on a white beater and some tight jeans, which is exactly what he's doing in one of his music videos. If you're looking for an artist who isn't afraid to play around with subject matter and has some really interesting lyrics, then definitely give Alex Cameron a shot. 